Let's move on to the scattering of light. How the lights are scattered. Considering I got a vehicle, the lights are there from the vehicle and the rain droppers are coming in. How the lights are scattered. This is proven and this is checked out using a small experiment using photon detector with a lens and laser. You can see here the laser light is passing in and you are able to see there is a refraction happening by an angle theta and this is detected by photon reactor and detector. Let's see further on this. So, as sunlight travels through the Earth's atmosphere, it gets stated by the atmospheric particles. As sunlight travels through the atmosphere, it gets scattered and the shorter wavelength is scattered much more than the longer wavelength. The amount of scattering is directly proportional to the force power of it's not it's inversely proportional it's inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength this is known as Rayleigh scattering the bluish color predominates in a clear sky since blue has a shorter wavelength than ray and it is scattered much more strongly in fact, violet grey scatters even more than blue, having a very short wavelength. But since our eyes are more sensitive to blue than violet, we are able to see the sky blue. Large particles like a dust and water droplets present in the atmosphere behave differently. The relevant quantity here is the relative size of the wavelength of light lambda and the scatterer of typical size say A. For A less than lambda, one has Rayleigh scattering which is proportional to 1 by lambda power 4. For A really lesser than lambda, large scattering objects, for example raindrops, large dust or ice particles. Thus clouds which have droplets of water with the really A really greater than lambda are generally white in color. At sunset or sunrise, the sun rays have to pass through a very large distance in the atmosphere. Most of the blue and other shorter wavelengths are removed by scattering. The least scattered light reaching our eyes therefore, the sun looks really reddish. So this concept explains the reddish appearance of the sun and full moon near the horizon.